Happy Friday everybody, it's great to see you all. Hasn't it been a great week this week? It's been a little bit warmer, a little bit brighter. Springtime is in the air and it's been lovely to see you all out playing and having fun this week. In today's assembly, we are going to be sharing our stars of the week. But before we do, we are going straight to see our friends in Hawking class in year four. In Mr. Sampson's class, the children have been learning about how we can make sports fully inclusive. Being inclusive is about making sure that our actions are fair and making sure that everybody is able to join in equally helpful ways. This is true in all of our subjects and Mr. Sampson and his children want to talk about inclusive sports in PE. Let's see what they've been up to. Hello and welcome to the Inclusive Park Olympics. Today in the studio, in the studio I am joined by two of my friends. Can you please tell us about what the Inclusive Games are? Thank you. So the Inclusive Games are a game that everyone can play. The people with disabilities and no disabilities. Can you tell us more? Yeah, and it's so fun! Now, thank you both. Now we will be going to the stadium to watch some of these games. Hello and welcome to Butcher. We have an exciting competition lined up. Butcher is a sport with two teams. Each team has five balls each. One player rolls the jack and then both teams try to roll their coloured balls as close as possible. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome to C2 Volleyball. You may have heard of volleyball, but th this is a tough sport. It's played with the same rules as volleyball, preventable from landing on your side, but you have to stay on your butt. Let's take a look. Before we continue, uh, let's do a quick advert break. Hey, how are you athletes? Have you ever suffered from smelly socks? <laughs> well, we have a cure for you, the normal smell free thousand. Hello and welcome to Beanbag Toss. This is a simple game to explain. Two teams, beanbags and hoops. Each hoop has a different point score. The further away, the more points. Teams must throw their beanbags into the hoops and add up their score. Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be going to tell you all about table tennis. Table tennis is a very simple game. It's for people who have disabilities. This is for people who can lower the table so they can play more easier. The players must hit back and forth to the table. Let's go have a look. Goalboard. This is an easy sport. Blindfolds, goals, footballs, what else do you need? This is an easy sport. All you need is two players, two goals um, and two blindfolds. The players each have blindfolds on and you roll the ball um, along and you have to try and score. Did I mention you're blindfolded and you use your other senses? Let's take a look. Finally, welcome 
to New Age Curling. In this sport, you will need um, a target and two teams. You might have seen a similar sport on TV. It's way too cold for us. Be careful, you can knock others out of the way. Let's take a look and see how we play. Thank you so much, I hope you can't wait to play. This is great, we cannot wait to see those inclusive sports being taught. Thank you Hawking Class and thank you Mr Sampson. Now, let's have a look at some of our stars of the week. Here are our stars in early years and key stage one. What's happened? How am I in the office with a new outfit? There's some strange magic going on here. What was I doing? Aha, it was the stars. And we're going to Little Park first. In Mexia, we have Medina. In Tenzing, we have Haniel. In Coleman class, we have Ibrahim. Well done, the children in Little Park. Okay, in reception, Jemison class, we've got Joshua, MacArthur class, Sibtain, and in Seacole class, we have Rabiha. Well done, reception. In year one, Aldrin class, Adriana. In Attenborough class, we have Aquam Fanabasi. And in Marco Polo class, we have Alia. Okay, year two now, Einstein, we have Sophia. Pasteur class, we have Kirin Deep. And, in, and that's it for lower school. Well done to our stars in lower school. Now we are going to visit Miss Burnett. Hi everyone. The signs this week, well actually there's two signs for this week and they are the colourful semantic signs. So the first one is who. So if you're asking who is that, that's what you would do. Okay, and the second one is what, which is like that. What's going on? And finally today, here are our stars in Key Stage 2. In Da Vinci, we have Daki, Galileo, Ted. In Edison, Angie. Well done, our stars in Year 3. In Year 4, Berners Lee, we have Xavier. Hawking, Antonio. Brunel, Ishal. Well done, Year 4. Over to Year 5, Gandhi, we have Julia. Alan Keller, Daniel. Rosa Parks, Tastiff. And in year six, we have from Mandela, Haroon, Malala, Yasmin, and Pankhurst, Tia. Well done, all of the stars in Key Stage 2. Well done, guys. We only have one more week left of this term. Next week's assembly is a little different because it is our star of the whole term awards. Okay, keep safe, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>